Hey everybody, welcome back. So today is, oh, there's Choo Choo. Hey Choo Choo. Little dog greeting in the back. Uh, today's one of our final lessons of the semester and we're into day two of some bonus content. So this is not material that will appear on the final midterm. Uh, so you won't be assessed on it. There's no homework problem on this particular topic, but it is so cool. And I hope by this point in the semester you appreciate uh, some of the sophistication that you're able to experience and enjoy about programming. There's a huge amount to learn about computer science and about programming and about technology. Um, one of the things that's so much fun about this field is just how much there is to learn and how much lifetime learning there is ahead of you. Um, and so today what we're going to do is we're going to kind of introduce you to this like unfamiliar idea or unfamiliar practice or pattern of how to work with data. Um, we've been showing you kind of this, this way of using a loop and you can, and you can do a lot with that. You can write a lot of code and change, uh, the world in a lot of ways and solve a lot of really interesting problems using those tools. But there are some really interesting, uh, other approaches that you might find a little bit more slick. Uh, it might turn out to be actually more powerful. So we're going to introduce one today, which is called a stream. We'll kind of, uh, just, you know, we're just dipping our toe in here. We're going to look at some of the basic stream operations. We'll show you how to use them. Uh, show you kind of how they map back to some of the for loop operations that we're used to. Um, and then we'll have a little fun playing with streams and doing some actual data, uh, munging of a, of a minimal kind. Uh, but this is something that particularly if you're going to work with data in the future, you may find really useful. So hope you enjoy the lesson, uh, and I'll see you at the bottom. 